on guys, it's Kyle here at Phoenix Souls. Uh, we're super excited to get this YouTube channel up and going for you guys. It's been something we've been wanting to do for quite some time now. Uh, in this first video, we're going to be showing you guys around the shop, uh, showing you guys all the shoes, the clothes, everything we carry here. Um, and also, we'll be doing buying, selling, trading, probably in this video as well, just showing you guys what everyday life is here at the shop. First off, we're going to be giving you guys a rundown of the shop, basically showing you uh, how we have the shop organized, basically from our Jordans, Dunks, Great School Wall. We have it all separated here to our cases, hats, clothes. We're just going to be going through everything, showing you guys around the shop a little bit. Alright, so we're going to start here with our Jordan 1 section. Uh, we carry all the Jordan 1s from, you know, OG Jordan 1s all the way to the new releases. Uh, we get a lot of the new releases here. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of the uh, University Blues, Hyper Royals. These are some of our quicker, quicker movers for sure. Um, I could point out some of the, the older, older Jordan 1s that we have, like the UNCs, that are pretty cool. Some of the better pairs, some stuff you don't really see every day, like Storm Blues, stuff like that. Um, we have like a whole bunch of Royals right here. We have Game Royals, you don't see a bunch of those. As well as like Court Purple, the 1.0s. A lot better than the uh, 2.0s, in my opinion. Um, we have a whole bunch of the 2.0s though. Um, this is probably our best selling Jordan 1 for sure. I would say the uh, Mochas right here. We can't really keep these in stock. We have a whole bunch of them right now. We just brought them in from storage. Um, but we uh, always want to stay stocked up on the Mochas because it's definitely a good pair of shoes for us. Um, we have quite a bit of Fearlesses over there, it's up here. Um, some of the navies, smoke grays, silver toes, um, shadows, pretty cool pair right here. Um, everybody loves the shadows. Got some of the 2.0s, NYC to Paris, um, some of the zooms, poor man's Dior's, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what those ones are called again. Uh, got quite a bit of obsidian, tie dyes, um, bile hacks, shadow backboard 3.0s. Rest of our Jordan ones come down here. Wrap all the way around. Got another good pair right here. Some rookies. Super, super good pair. We sell a lot of those. <laughs> the Pollens. What else? What else? LA to Chicago is another good pair. It's kind of just miscellaneous um, Jordan ones. Some black toes. This one's got a little bit of wear on it, but some black toes. Got Bloodlines. Got some Homage to Homes. And we got a uh, whole bunch of bread ones. We always like to carry the bread ones. A lot of people like these for sure. Originals, original colorway. Um, mix into here. And then the uh, Jordan 1 wall kind of comes, ends about right here. Then we get into like twos, threes, everything like that. Uh, we sell a lot of uh, ones, threes, and fours. That's definitely some of our best sellers when it comes to our Jordans. Uh, the ones, threes, and fours, as well as the 11s we sell a lot of too. Um, some of the better fours we have, we sell a lot of the black cats. Um, the topes we sell a lot of, and then as well as these just came back out. The Lightning Fours. Um, this is probably one of my favorite shoes ever. It's kind of the shoe that got me into the sneaker world. Uh, we sell a lot of the University Fours, a whole bunch of these. We have a couple pairs down here, pairs up here as well. Um, as well as the Breads. I would actually say this is probably, thinking about it, this is probably our best selling Jordan 4 for sure. People love the Breads, just a classic. Um, you wrap down here, we have a lot of fire reds, Oreos, the uh, metallic purples. Uh, we got a pair of the green metallics. I like these a lot. You don't really see these ones too often. We got also the uh, orange pair. So those are pretty cool. Got some Levi fours right here. So that'll be the end of our fours right there. Um, then we get into our fives all the way up to 11s. Um, when it comes to fives, I would say definitely the Raging Bull fives are probably one of our best sellers when it comes to fives. 
Definitely more of a classic colorway. People like those ones a lot. And then we get up to sixes. Uh, DMPs do pretty well for us. We sell quite a bit of infrareds. We don't have a whole lot right now just because they sell pretty decently for us. Um, then you get up to sevens, all the way up to eights. Sevens to like 10 are definitely some of the slower moving Jordans for sure. Uh, just not everybody's favorite. Um, this is kind of a cool one though. The uh, Dornbecker eights. Uh, this one's pretty cool. You got those and then uh, all the way up to 11s. We sell a lot of the uh, Concords. It's definitely probably one of our better sellers. Like I was saying before, the ones, threes, fours, and 11s. That's definitely our best selling uh, Jordans for sure. A lot more of the classic colorways. We sell a lot of the breads, the Concords, um, and then we sell quite a bit of the Space Jams too. We have a decent amount of the uh, 2011 pair actually, which you don't really see too often. Got the 23 in the back rather than the 45 on the newer release pair. Um, and then right over here, we got the rest, it's the rest of our Jordan wall. Uh, it starts with like the 11 lows, all the way up to the 12s, 13s, 14s. It's definitely one of our slower moving walls, but we like to carry it just so we have a little bit of everything for anybody that comes in here. We carry pretty much anything and everything in here when it comes to Jordans, Dunks. Um, we even had like a bunch of like runners, Air Maxes, stuff like that. Um, and then up here, we have a whole bunch of our more hype Jordan 1s, you could say. Starting with like the Travis's, the Unions. Got quite a few pairs of shattered backboards, which is pretty cool. You don't really see the shattered backboards too often. As well as like the satin ones. We got the Aaliyah Mays, a pair of the black and whites, which you don't ever see. And those ones are dead stock too, which is pretty crazy. Uh, got some Twist, LA to Chicago's, the Nigel's, one of my personal favorites. Blue Moon, Storm Blues, some more UNC's. Clay Greens, Spider-Mans, uh, some track reds, and then finishing off, we got a couple of red toes as well. And then right on the left side, when you walk in right here, we have a whole bunch of our Kobe's, Sakai's, um, and then we have like a couple of Travis's, and then some of the, the Stussy's right here, the Stussy Spiritons. Um, so we got like, these are some, some of the better Kobe's. We got the Undefeated's, the first ones. We got some of the Phoenix Suns, Kobe 4's, um, some of the, more of the Undefeated's. Uh, we got, the Bruce Lee's, the alternate colorway. And then we got the first Bruce Lee's as well. These are two of my favorite Kobe's ever, for sure. Um, we get a lot of the undefeated stuff just because we have an undefeated right down the street. So it's pretty it's pretty good with pairs like that. We get a lot of uh, stuff that comes out. We're able to get it in hand because people bring it by all the time right after they get it on the drop of undefeated. Um, but we have Grinch's, another Grinch. We have some really good Kobe's right now. We have the Christmas ones. The what those? Uh, got a pair of the All Stars right here. These are pretty crazy, brand new. Um, so some of the Sakai's right here. We got some of the fragments. Um, some of the OG ones, the clots, the Vapor Waffles. Uh, some of the Sakai Blazers. Some of the Travis 270s. And then we have a couple of the Stussies. We actually sell these guys pretty well, surprisingly. They sell super well for us. So a lot of those. All right. So now we're gonna head over to the Dunk Wall. Um, this is definitely our, our hottest wall in the store. This is our quickest selling wall right in front of the Jordan 1s. Jordan 1s will probably be second, uh, but Dunks is definitely crazy right now. Everybody loves the Dunks. Uh, we carry everything from basically the OG Dunks all the way to the newer Dunks. We definitely move the OGs a little bit slower just because not everyone has the knowledge on them and the prices are absolutely crazy right now. Um, some of the OG ones we keep up top. So I mean, we have like the Skunks up here, the Dooms, Diamonds, Heinekens some of the lobsters over here. Um, and then we keep more of like the, uh, I guess, general release dunks kind of in the middle right here, but we do have quite a few gems hidden away in here for sure. Uh, we could start up here, basically with the dunk highs, our top, our top two rows right here will be our, our dunk highs. We got a lot of stuff mixed in. Uh, we sell a lot of these guys right here, especially for the women, uh, the panda dunk highs. A lot of the newer stuff obviously moves quicker. Um, well, we have a lot of older stuff too, like this is a great pair mixed in there, the What The Dunk Highs. Um, what else we got up here? University Reds. I'm surprised these haven't re-released yet, honestly. It's surprising. Uh, University Reds. Got some of the Maze, Maze Dunks right here. Michigans. So, so a lot of, like I said, a lot of the newer Dunks. More Michigans. You got some of the Diamond Dunk Highs. It's a pretty cool pair. It's an older pair. Spartans. Game Royals, Syracuse. For Dunk Highs, it's probably the quickest moving Dunk High for sure. The Syracuses, these ones came out recently. We sell a lot of these guys. Um, some of the Hawaii Dunks, these ones are pretty cool. So, 
We got a cow town here as well. Like I said we, earlier, we had undefeated. We have a cow town as well, so they do a, right down the street, they do a lot of the SB drops. So they got all those and whatnot. Um, and then right about here on, we get into all of our dunk lows. Um, we got pull a couple good pairs out for you guys. Some of the diamonds. I know I'm kind of moving around a lot, but we got the white diamonds right here with the blacks. Quite a few pairs of those guys. Um, some of the zebras, shadows. These ones went up crazy, crazy. 650. When we opened the store about a year and a half ago, we had these in here for like, I think it was like 180, 200. It's crazy how much that shoe went up. We got court purples going in, undefeated dunks. We sell these very, very well as well. Um, got some of the papa bears, the plums, ceramics. Um, these ones are pretty cool right here, older dunk. Got the orange box dunks, super cool one. A pair of Syracuses, my personal favorite, Syracuses and then Kentuckys. These are probably my two favorite as well as these guys right here. All three of these got a lot better leather than um, a lot of the old, I mean the newer dunks get for sure. They definitely are just starting to put out some pretty trash quality dunks right now. Um, but we got some of the olives, dusty olives, what else? some of the camo guys, yay dunks, pink box, and we got like some of the Brazils. These definitely got some of the better leather too. Uh, we got Brazils right here, Michigan's, UNLV's, I said the uh, University Reds. This is a cool pair right here. We got a couple pairs of these, the Valentine's Day dunks. Pretty cool shoe, 2014 pair. Some of the Cobalts, like this is what I was saying, like on leather, like these are like legit plastic compared to like, you get like a Syracuse, I mean a Kentucky dunk. Got a lot better leather. Like you definitely ran away with the dunks. Um, we got some of the Coast dunks, like the Coast dunk slot. And then UNLC, uh, UNC dunks we sell a lot of as well. Got some of the Spartans, um, Orange Pearls. Definitely sell super, super quick for us as well. All right, and in our middle section, we got some more dunks here mixed in. We got uh, some community gardens, the para dunks. These ones recently came out a little while ago. We sell a lot of these. The para dunks do super good for us. Got the what the paws, street hawkers, a couple of the rubber dunks, clivers, ray guns, and a couple bangers mixed in here. Got the jet eyes, the skater dies. These are the firecracker ones, I believe. These ones didn't come out too long ago. And then we got some of the instant dunks. So we got bangers mixed in everywhere for sure. Um, and then up in the front right here, we got all of our off-white dunks. These ones, this is changing about every single day. We sell, sell and buy these like crazy. We got some of the OG off-white dunks, which is pretty cool. Um, and then some of the Grateful Deads as well. And over here on this side, we got some more of our hype dunks uh, as well. We got a couple pairs of Travis's, Supreme Dunks, the BBs, and then one of my personal favorites, the Strange Loves. And we got a pair of Newcastles. Nice OG pair right there. Um, and then starting on this side, is this will be a majority of all of our grade school. Our dunks are mixed in when it comes to sizes from grade school to men's, but a lot of our Jordans will all be, for grade school, will all be right here. So, I mean, we have a huge selection for, for the girls, for sure. From everything from Jordan 1 lows, I mean, we've got great older pairs like Shadows, Shadow 2.0s, tie-dyes, a lot of the girls like tie-dyes. Hyper Royals, got some mids right here, some pollens, probably the worst release of the year, in my opinion. This shoe's horrible, it doesn't sell either, for us at least. Uh, I got Pine Greens, some Royal Toes. University Blues is, up, is definitely up there with the uh, with these guys right here, for sure. The Hyper Royals, these two the girls love, for sure. Um, got a couple pairs of Biohacks here. Got a couple more pairs of Ones or purple ones, and then you get into like threes, fours. We actually sell a lot of the fours for females. Uh, the girls like the, the fours a lot. Oreos sell super well for us. Fire reds though, well, we got fire reds, and probably between this this and this is probably our best selling fours for, for the ladies. Um, we got universities, lightnings, fives, whole bunch of just, like I said, we carry pretty much everything, even when, even when it comes to uh, girl stuff and right over here right in our middle section this is where we got all like the GS bangers um, I mean we got stuff from off-white fours to off-white fives this is all seven and below all these sizes right here got another pair of off-white fives Travis's like these are super sick Serena's 97's off-whites um, got some Air Forces right here Black Cats 
And then we got a pair of mochas right here. We, we try to carry as much mochas as we can for uh, the females for sure because mochas, this is by far, just like the men's for when it comes to Jordan 1's, mochas is probably the best selling uh, grade school shoe in here, I would say. We got a couple other, like, not older release, but it's definitely not one you see every day, especially in grade school. The Game Royals. Um, we got like Spider-Man's, Chicago's. We have a lot of uh, grade school heat for sure. Black Toes, these ones are kind of cool. It's like a little custom. The midsole's been like yellowed out and it's got cream laces. Uh, we even got a pair of 94's sitting here. So in a size six and a half, which is pretty crazy. Dead stock too. Got them at 2,000. Got some more breads, bread toes, shadow backboards, turbos, and UNC's. These are some great ones too. Super, super crazy. Especially in the grade school sizes. Um, and then behind us right here, we got, this is kind of like our miscellaneous wall. We kind of just do like Air Forces, Air Maxes, kind of like Nike basketball, and then some, we don't do a whole lot of designer, but we got a couple designer shoes up here. If you're God, stuff like stuff like that. We always keep the undefeated Air Forces in stock for sure. We sell a lot of, I mean, all the colorways. These ones just came out, so we haven't got a whole lot of these ones. But um, I mean, like these, we sell super, super well. Um, we've got some of the clots right here. Some more Air Maxes. This is a cool pair. Got some of the Atmos guys, the Paras. Cool pairs of Air Maxes right there. Up to the 90s, 95s, 97s, 98s. And it's kind of like I said, miscellaneous. Got some of the cactus plant blazers, pretty cool. Um, then you get into like Nike basketball. So you have like the LeBrons, uh, KDs, Kyrie's. We don't have a whole lot of Nike basketball, except for the Kobe's up there. We sell a lot of Kobe's. Um, but you get into like stuff like the Fear of Gods. We got some of the, the 550s, the uh, New Balances. We sell these pretty well, honestly. It's a pretty good shoe. I like them myself, not too bad. Um, but we have like a little mixture of like Alexander McQueen's, uh, Off-Whites, Louis, um, and a couple of pairs of Vans. Like I said, we don't do a whole lot of designer stuff. And then up top, right up here, we carry a lot of like, all the way up top, we kind of got a lot of like OG heaters, I guess you could say. Um, just shoes that I personally like. I've been collecting for a long, long time, so I like a lot of this stuff. This is a lot of the stuff that I wore when I, when I was growing up. So I mean, we got like Dornbecker 3s, got the Fear Pack 3s, 4s and the fives, which is pretty crazy. We got all those. Supreme fives, slam dunk sixes, um, some Olympic sevens, the Murrow sevens, and then a couple of uh, 11s over here. Got the Pantones and the cool grays. And then we got a couple more, just basically Jordan ones, uh, some of the better pairs, like top threes, black toes, some of the 85 ones. And then that one's pretty crazy. It's a 2001 pair of the breads, dead stock. And we got some Don, some Don C's right there. And then right underneath it, this is where we have all of our Yeezys. Um, Yeezys is definitely a, a pretty decent mover for us, I would say. We sell a lot of the 350s, and uh, you know, honestly, this is this is this and the Foam Runners. It's probably the. I mean, it's hard, but it's this is this is up there for like the best selling shoe for sure. The slides and the Foam Runners we sell crazy. We don't even have any Foam Runners right now because we sell them so quick. Um, but we can just start basically right here. This is all of our 350s. Um, when it comes to 350s, I mean, we get pretty much all the colorways. The best selling ones though, for sure, is definitely the zebras and then the um, the breads. We only have one pair right now, but the breads we sell, this is a crazy selling shoe for us. We've got some cinders, just a bunch of like all the random colorways that I probably forgot half the names to because they come out about every week. I mean, not, not recently though, they haven't really been coming out as much, but uh, this, this is the end of our, basically from here all the way down, these are all of our 350s. And then you got some 380s, the Aliens. These ones sell pretty well for us when it comes to 380s. The rest of the colorways kind of just are hit or miss for the most part. Um, then we got some 500s, probably the worst shoe to come out. Did this come out this year? Probably the worst shoe to come out this year. This thing is horrible. I feel bad for, for whoever wears that shoe. <laughs> um, and then we got some of the 500s, and then we got uh, some 700s. When it comes to 700s, we sell the Wave Runners a lot. This is probably the only 700 that consistently sells for us. I would say so. Um, and then just, yeah, come some of the V2s, V1s, um, and then up here, got some of the V3s, um, and just whatever the, I don't even, the MNL, V, I don't even know what these are called. I can't even remember. We got slides, like I was saying before, and we got a couple human, bro, this thing is pissing me the f Oh my God. 
we got slides up here, and then we also got uh, human races, and then we got a couple pairs of Ultra Boosts up here. The shoes, 2016, 2017, completely dead now, but we do have a couple pairs. Uh, we don't really sell them, to be honest, but we have them if anybody wants them. They can probably just take them at this point. And then coming around this side, um, we got our cases. That's about the last thing we gotta show you guys for shoes in here. Um, we got, this is our off-white case, so we keep a lot of the off-whites in here. Um, we got, you know, good good selection of off-whites. They definitely don't come in like they used to, because he doesn't, Virgil doesn't release a whole lot of them anymore, like back in the day. But uh, got some good ones, like OG uh, Blazers, the 90s. This one's pretty crazy. This is a super clean pair. The Air Forces, got these at 2400, size 10. Super crazy pair. And then one of everybody's favorites, these in the, the Chicago's. Prestos, got some Serenas, and then off-white Air Force Ones, the yellow guys right there, the gold, yellow, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then coming on over to this side, this is kind of like a miscellaneous hype case from like basically the threes to sixes, honestly. This is a lot more collab stuff. Um, this is one of my favorite shoes of the year, and a lot of people's shoes of the year. All Mom and Yers, we like these. Everybody in the store here likes these a lot for sure. This is definitely a super quick mover for us. Um, and then this shoe right here, it's crazy. Dorn Becker's Superman logo on the front. This is probably my favorite shoe of all time, I would say, for sure. This is a size nine. You shot up like crazy. And then the Cos 4s. I'm a big 4s fan myself. I love the 4s. It's probably my favorite Jordan ever. Um, the Cos guys are pretty sick. We saw a lot of the unions. Got a pair of the trophy rooms right here. And then we got quite a few pairs, surprisingly, of uh, the Travis 4s right now. Dead stock too, which is pretty crazy. Um, you don't really see these dead stock, they're usually all beat up and destroyed. Um, then we got some sixes, basically just Travis sixes, um, the brown colorway, and then we got the OG colorway. We got a lot of the OG pairs uh, right now. One of my personal favorites in here too is the uh, Aaliyah May sixes. You definitely don't see these ones too often. These ones are super cool. We got a couple pairs of these too as well. And that's pretty much it for shoes for the most part. Um, we fit about 2,000 pairs of shoes in here. 2,000 to like 2,500 is kind of what we can fit in here. So that's what we have uh, in store pretty much at all times. We have a pretty, pretty big selection for sure. Um, and then right here is all of, our, all of our hats. Well, not all of our hats. We got some right here as well as right here too. We carry a lot of hats. Hats is pretty crazy for us right now. It's, you guys probably know the hat, hat scene is going crazy with Hat Club and then we do a lot of sports world hats too. Um, it's kind of like Hat Club, it's just a different company. Um, but uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of hats right here as well as right here too. Um, and, then, and then right here. And then for clothes, we got this whole rack right here is all essentials. We do a lot of essentials, we sell a lot of essentials. Essentials is definitely probably our best uh, moving clothing maybe with the vape I would say maybe would probably be second but essentials we get a lot of we don't have any tees right now because we're literally sold well we have one two two tees right now because we're literally sold out of all of them we we sell essentials super quick we got some of the pants right here as well um, if you want to over here on this side we got basically some of our hoodies um, hoodies we don't do a whole I mean we have a whole rack of them we don't do a whole lot of them because I mean we live in Arizona so there's not a whole lot of time to wear hoodies here. Um, but yeah, we got, I mean, stuff mixed in here. I mean, Supreme, Supreme Antisocial. We got a couple of Bape hoodies, crew necks, stuff like that. So, I mean, like I said, we don't do a whole lot of hoodies, but we do have a couple just because it's pretty hot here. Um, and then right here is all of our streetwear. And then at the end will be a little bit of vintage. But I mean, this whole rack right here, for the most part, in the front is all Bape. Um, and then we got stuff like Chrome Hearts. We do a lot of Chrome Hearts. We try to get as much as we can. We sell it super well. Um, it's expensive right now, but people like it. People pay for it. So we got v loan the Warren Lotus stuff, especially when the Suns uh, went to the finals. Sadly lost, but they went to the finals. Um, and we sold a lot of the uh, Warren Lotus stuff for sure. All right, and then right here we got some of our anti-social. Moved into uh, pretty much Supreme. And then we got a couple of Travis. We leave like Travis stuff in here mixed in with like some Palace uh, and stuff like that. So and then we got right here, pretty much all these are Eric Emanuel shorts. These are selling pretty well for us right now. These shorts, everybody's kind of wearing them at the moment. Um, got a couple, pair of Don C shorts, um, got some pants. We don't do a whole lot of pants, like I said, because it's, it's a little bit hotter here. So I mean, we do a lot of shorts. We have some pants, some vape stuff. 
And then right here will all be vintage. We don't do a whole lot of vintage anymore, but we do have a little selection. And that's pretty much it for everything when it comes to uh, clothes, shoes, uh, hats, everything like that. We're about to open up for the day here in about like 20 minutes. So uh, hopefully we can get some of the people coming in, selling to us. Like I said, we do buy, sell, trade. Uh, we cash out a lot. So I mean, hopefully people can come by, bring us some stuff and uh, we can get some stuff on video for you guys. So this is some of the stuff that we picked up uh, the last couple days. Uh, we'll just start right here. We got a pair of Chunky Dunkies in. Some water damage on the box. Got a pair of Chunky Dunkies in, size eight and a half. Uh, all this stuff right here is used, well, for the most part, except for maybe like a pair. All this stuff is used for the most part, so we still gotta clean them and put them out. Everything in here, we clean, we put out before we price, we lace, we stuff. We don't put no dirty inventory out. So, like I said, like this right here, it's nothing crazy dirty, but it is a little bit dirty, so I mean, we'll scrub, lace stuff, you know, fix all these, clean them all up before we put them out. We don't put anything dirty out that's used. Um, but yeah, we got a size eight and a half chunky dunk. Got those going out. We got a old pair of grapefruits, size ten. These guys are used, but super clean. I'd say like at least in maybe even a nine out of ten, they're super clean. We worn a couple times. Those guys going out. We got a pair of off white vapor maxes. So these are pretty cool. You don't really see these too often anymore. These are what, 2.0s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2.0s. Those guys come, are going to be going out in size 10. Another off white. Off white 90. In the desert, desert colorway. These ones are super sick. Worn, but super clean as well. It's got OG all. Yeah, like I said, we picked these up the last couple of days. Um, these are some of the, the better pairs we picked up, for sure. Um, we got a pair of Sean's. Sean's always moved pretty solid for us. Um, we got a size nine and a half in these. These guys are used, but super, super clean. We only take stuff in if it's like, not worn a couple times, but like if it's worn multiple times, uh, usually like, you know, if it's stuff we can clean, obviously we'll take it in, but like if there's scuffs and marks on it, we usually don't take it in just because you know, it's, it's a harder sell point to sell a shoe that has a whole bunch of scuffs on it rather than something we can just clean up real quick. Um, oh, we got a pair of neutrals in. This is a women's 11 and a half, but a men's 10. This shoe right here sells absolutely crazy for us. This is definitely one of the better selling Jordan ones, right up there with the mochas, honestly. It's cheap, it's simple, simple colorway. You know, it doesn't got a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, they only go, we sell them for like 200 bucks for the most part, two to 250, depending on the size. But people eat those up for sure. Um, what do we got right here? We got a Kentucky Dunk. Size, what is this? Size 11. Kentucky Dunk, size 11. Bro, I'm gonna kill Cody. Hold on a second. He bought these. He said they were 11 and a half. Might have an OG box. Air Max 97 box. Um, well, they go for like the same price, so we'll survive tonight. Um, so we got a size 11 in these, uh, Kentucky Dunk. Apparently not OG box, my lovely brother checked these, took these in. Size 11 and a half, Air Max 97. Size 11, it's not an 11 and a half, so job Cody on that one. Um, got a pair of cactus plants. I wish these were my size. I love this shoe. I want a pair of these really bad. These uh, re-released, well they came out on what, Nike ID, right? And yeah, Nike ID and then re-released. I had the black pair, but uh, I was doing a little black Air Force One activity, so I had to stop wearing those. But I had the black pair, now just sold the black pair. I need the white pair now. But these are super, super sick. I think they're 3M too, right? Yeah. Yeah, 3M. Yeah, they're just sick. Used, like I said, all this stuff is used besides these ones. It's the only dead stock pair we got. 
past couple of days. Like I said, anything we take in, like there's minor creasing, but like there's nothing we can't clean up. Like if there was scuffs and stuff on it, obviously we wouldn't be taking it in, but anything that's cleanable for the most part, we'll take in. Even if it's used, these are uh, 11 and a half. And then one of my personal favorites, the Concepts box, special box. Even though all these, pretty sure all the green lobsters came in special boxes. These ones have a little bit more wear on them for sure. These ones are size, what, 11? Yeah, these ones are sick. These will go perfect up there with the, because uh, we got the purple lobsters, the blue lobsters, and the red lobsters. So now we have the green lobsters. So we'll have all four of them, besides the yellows, but those go for like, what? 25. No, they're more now. More, yeah, they're it's like, like almost, I think it's like 50. Yeah, close to it's 50. It's crazy, those those go crazy, but there's only like 20 something pairs in the world, I think. Yeah. So, but yeah, I definitely love these. These ones are six, the green lobsters. Like I said, we still have to clean them, put them out. They're dirty for sure. We got these for a good price. I think I paid six for these. Um, I think Lois ass is like 18. This is something we probably put at like, I don't know, honestly. Maybe like 1,000, 1,100 around there once they're cleaned up. Stuff like that. So, I mean, let me see what else I paid for all these. I think these guys we got for the neutrals. I think I paid like 140 for these. Like I said, these are probably something we put out for like 220. Uh, Sean's. We got these guys in a trade. These we paid 280. I don't know what these are at, but I think it's around like at least like five around there. So I mean, we probably put these at like four, four something. Pretty, pretty clean for sure. A Rhett Box Kentuckys, that I did not know about. These are like 650, size 11. So I mean, we're probably putting around like 550. And we got the off-whites right here. Um, I think we paid like four for these, and I think four for these. We don't pay high for these just because they don't really move the quickest. People know how dirty they get and how much they yellow. Um, so like something like this, we can pay a little higher on, obviously, because people will be able to keep these cleaner, but these guys yellow pretty fast. The bottoms get pretty nasty on them. And then these guys, I think we paid like eight, eight or nine for. And then these ones, I think we paid, we got these for a good deal. I think we paid like five for these. So these were all cash outs for the most part, besides the Sean's, the Sean's we did a trade on. I don't remember what we traded for them, but we did do a trade on those guys. So, all right, got a couple of Phoenix Souls crew members in the building. Got my brother Cody right here. What's up, what's up? Cody, follow me on IG at Drip and Clean AZ. It's my hat. Got the man Jason. Yo, 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 Jason, also known as Kicks for Drip. Let me show you what I got on today. Got the Fear God Essentials, the throwback NASCAR T, Expo's hat, and Kentucky Dunks on feet. I got the Yeezy slides on today, Shoe Palace shorts, Palm Angels T, and a Chicago fitty. All right, what do I have on? I don't know what I have on. Got the little brace hat on, got the ice on. Let me see, let me see. Woo, got the ice Dancing. on. Dancing. Got the vintage Nintendo T. Mm. The Gucci pants mm. on dead stock to off-white fives today. Woo. Wow. All right, now we gotta introduce the man behind the camera. What's up? My name is Noah. Follow me on Instagram, Noah Suds. Today I got on some Travis Fours, some vintage Levi's that uh, my grandma cut up. Shout out to grandma. Uh, I got the Mute T on from Jet Bentley, and then I got the uh, LA Stussy hat on today. Yeah, we've been here for like a year and a half now. Nick, like, Nick found that chew in the side. Which one? This one's hard. Yeah. Nick, good, Nick? Yeah. This one's far. The neck one. So, back hit. Let me see what the last sales are. Size so, yet? Yeah. Uh, this guy's a large. You only have one XL, remember, I think you said? Yeah, right here. Okay. I have another XL coming in this. Okay. <laughs> and then I have uh, also two XLs. And another two, and then I have a small coming. Okay. You know, like no, the Maddie Boy sweatshirt. We got a bunch of them right now. We got a bunch of the Maddie Boy stuff. Yeah. I know. The London one. Uh, Let's see. Look at this back here. Huh? The shoulders. That one's sweet. It's got the neck hit on it. That's it. And then it's got a small back hit. I like this one though. Those three. Did you do 950 for these three? The one, the one in there? Yeah. Uh, let me see what's other than the neck more. Yep. Neck. So, well, what? what do you want for your London? Because what do you want me to do for it? I was at 325. Alright, so we'll maybe. Alright, we'll get these two. What? 
Yeah. So three, you're at 325 on that. What were you on this? Because this one I, I was just at 325, 325, and 300. That's what I was at. So I was at 950. So I wanted 310. I'm gonna want so this, this does one a fit, fit you. Yeah. Pretty expensive on the sock guy. Is it just like the other one? Yeah. Like those? Yeah, fits the same way? Yeah. You're gonna do like 350. That's probably my max on it though. You should be so high as bid. Full work payout would be. I'd be at 352. So. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably be at 350. 360? I'd probably be at 350 on it. I'd probably be at 350, 3, and then. So we're going to take those curves. So you only want these two, and then you don't want any. For whatever reason, I mean, you're good. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I was just, like I said, yeah. No, sure. for yeah. I mean, yeah, I could do 3, 350, 310, and like 320. That's 980. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll get So I would be at for my two. So you'd be at 310. Lennon's 320, 310, 350. So, so, dude, so just do these two and then. So you're at 350 and 310. And then you're at 320. So 660 and then 320 is Okay, that's fine. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Am I getting screwed again, Lex? No. <laughs> yeah, we have quite a bit. We got like 2,000 pairs in here. You try to have a pretty wide selection for sure. It's amazing. Everything that Nick was on. Four, five, six. And then we got 360. Thank you, man. Yep, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you for coming down here. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's how y'all had to do it? They had to go gold on us. The new, oh, that's the new back? Okay. Damn. They had to, they had to do it. Was that stun on us? Yeah, I need one of those. You see it, you see it. I do see it. Hey, y'all got a size uh, six in the, the OG Travis six, huh? Sure, fake. <laughs> Ooh, fake ease. <laughs> Boy, I got the factory in the crib. The factory in the crib. Ain't <laughs> nothing. <know. laughs> these ones are hard. Those ones are crazy. Yeah, these ones. The Rug series is my favorite. These ones are sick. But I think I think the reason why these ones are so high is because they're so uh, they're like one of the, the first colors to come out. Yeah, these ones are sick too. I like these. Floral? No, a size 9. In the Travis 6. Dead stock. Some DS also. 11, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's one of the neutral pairs. Yeah, these for each other, right? Yeah. These ones, yeah. This is my favorite pair, I'm sure. I'm not used to be like that for first year. The 11? I think 11 is my favorite. 11, and I think y'all have. I'm with the, the light blue laces with the pink chunny. Come on, these guys. Yeah. 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 Or do you want to do a train, right? Yeah, I just want to, I just want to do a train. Alright, so what do we want, what do you want on these? You said a band for those? Let me double check. Just make sure. Steel drive. <laughs> Crazy, they doing me. <laughs> <laughs> he took a, they uh, took one fit pick DS. I saw it. I saw your fit pick on Instagram with those. With those? It's crazy. All right, so we got these shorts. Oh, yeah. Two pairs of Eric Emanuel shorts. We got a lot eleven. This is like size nine. Good stuff. This is it. This is it. We got the Maze Dunk highs, size nine. We did. Well, we ended up doing a straight trade. The Union guys. Those. Yeah, guys, that's back there off white bolts. Yeah, high they are. So we did a lot of essentially like 1100, 120, 500, and then like 140 a pair on these for these guys. He's taking all the ones. You're welcome, sir. Appreciate you. Yes. You know what I mean? Let's go. Finally, bruh. Got himself the unions. I'm selling now. My man, it's our spot. Uh, that's where we eat nearly every single day. Right in the so, corner. The only, uh, how about a shop? It's about the only food place in existence in this plaza. Yeah, I'm pretty desperate. We have, we have Scootopia, but that's ice cream. It's a lot. We're gonna be paying 20 bucks for a burrito. Look at the beautiful scenery we have over here. It's kind of nice. Have a good day, thank you. Very, very trendy. Huh? Have you had a burger here before? No, I'm probably not. Dude, I think I'm gonna get that.
cooked with pancake with a uh, taters. Taters. Pancake with taters. I'll do a pancake with a with two. Or, I'll just do one pancake with uh, potatoes, like a side of potatoes. Just buttermilk pancake? Yep. Alright, anything else? Uh, and I'll do a large drink. A large, uh, whatever that drink on the left is. This one? Yeah. My regular lemon? Is this yeah. large okay? No, okay. Yeah. Thank you. I got the tomato soup and the grilled cheese, the hibiscus, potatoes, and the. I got the pancake. What's a drink? Huh? What's a drink? Ivory House event um, in Phoenix. They have, they have a store out in Goodyear. What is it? Yeah, Goodyear. Yeah, Goodyear, Arizona. They got a store, a vintage store. So I'm a big vintage fan. Everyone at the shop has a lot of vintage. But yeah, we just pulled up, see what's, see what's popping. We're gonna film the event, see what we can get for you guys. I think these ones are pretty cool, but you don't think so. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> these ones are pretty sick, size 11 and a half. Um, he DM'd us, uh, he said he wanted 350. We do 350 on them. It's a pretty good price, so. Right, appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, bro. What's going on, guys? Uh, we weren't able to film too much today, like interactions, buying, sadly, while uh, we were super busy. But uh, we just want to show you guys basically what we picked up throughout the day today. 
And uh, we're about to close here shortly, so we don't anticipate getting too much more inventory in tonight. Um, to start off, we got a pair of uh, Instinct Dunks. We picked these up. Uh, I think we paid like two, 220 for these, which is pretty pretty good. Um, I think market's around like four right now. They are used, but super clean. Next, we got a pair of Off-White Dunks, the uh, UNLV colorway. Sheesh! So these are pretty hard, size 11 and a half. For the Tizzo. Tizzo. For an 11 and a half. You know. We got Jason Bell behind the camera. Yes, one and only. Uh, I think we paid, I want to say, 450 for these, which is pretty solid. These are sitting around like 750 brand new. So we would probably put them in here for like, I would say like around like maybe like six used, but they're super good, like maybe like eight out of 10 condition. Uh, next we got a pair of Grinches. Uh, we picked these up for a really good price. I think we paid 250 for these. The guy gave us a, a steal on these. Great shoe. Yeah, great shoe. Probably my favorite Kobe all the time. Um, super clean. I can't remember what these ones are at, but we're making a good amount on those. Those ones are size nine used. A lot of these were used, except for some of these at the end, some of the dead stock dunks we took in. Uh, we took these in, we got a uh, size 10 used, super clean. Uh, we paid like 250 on these, the topes. Pretty solid, dead stock's like 400. Let's put them at like 340. Probably at 340, honestly. We got these for a great price. Uh, same guy sold us the topes and the Raging Bulls here, both size 10. Um, these are worn like once, like super, super spotless. We paid 120 for these. Probably toss these up for like 180 or something. Threw us a bone, for sure. Pretty solid. This guy was pretty decent on both those prices. Uh, we got these in. These are pretty crazy. It's like six and a half. Oh, I gotta get a closer look on these. Yeah. Every shoe looks better in this size. Yeah. Small sizes do definitely better, for sure. But these are super clean, size six and a half Syracuse. Very, very rare size. Um, you don't see these too much. I paid, uh, what did I pay for these, six? Six, yeah. Yeah, I paid six for these, which is a lot. I mean, they're used, but I mean, they're at, I think, 1,080 lowest ass right now. So we'd probably put them in here for like, it's crazy how the Syracuse's and the Kentuckys, how, how high those went up. Yeah, they're, they're super, super high. As well as the University Reds are starting to creep up yep. as well. Um, next, we got a pair of undefeated dunks. Uh, these move great for us. These in uh, the blue colorway moves great for us too. We haven't got a whole lot of the black colorway in yet. Um, but yeah, these are size nine. That stock, we paid uh, 150 for these. So yep. That was a great little pickup. Tosses in there, like we sell these for like, Depending on size, around like between like two to two fifty. Um, next, we got a pair of Cost and Lowe's navies. These ones are super, super sick. I love this shoe. They're size ten and a half. Um, I honestly can't remember what we paid for these guys, but I know these are up there right now. I got my pair of these personals like a month after they came out. They were sitting at undefeated. This is when, like the Jordan, slept. the Jordan One low hype was was not very not very high at all. So these ones are super sick. I like the little the jump man aspect on it. Yeah, that's so, my favorite part. Yeah. Sure. These ones are sick. Size so ten and a half. Uh, next we got a pair of off white fives. This is arguably one of my favorite off whites yeah. of all time for sure. These guys are size eleven. These are super super clean. Used but uh, not. Worn like maybe once, I would say. OGR. Fire. Um, I think we paid 650 for these, which is pretty solid. These are sitting around like a thousand brand new now, so that's not too bad. The UNC fours, another used pair. We like to buy a lot of used. Used moves honestly the quickest in here, just because uh, most people that come here are gonna wear the shoes, obviously, if they're buying them. So they like to get them at a little bit of a discounted price rather than buying brand new. Myself included, I like doing that. Just save a little bit of money, but. These ones are super clean. We actually did a trade on these for, he took a pair of University Blues. Um, we did these ones. and he gave us 300 on top. University Blue ones. Yeah, and we took a pair of University Blue fours in. So. These are size 12. Those are super clean. Uh, next, we got a pair of older dunks. I can call these the Ross dunks because these just sit in Ross for literally nothing. The shoe used to be, we couldn't give these away for like 60 bucks. They were the souls. Day, when they came out in 2015, yeah. yeah, I used to be able to find pairs of these in Ross. It was crazy, but uh, we paid two fifty for these, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, I think they're around like five fifty brand new right now. So where my big feet people at? Size, size twelve. 12. We got a, quite a few size twelve. Yeah. Or not bigger like, sizes. Yeah, eleven, twelve. But yeah, De La Soul is super clean. Um, it's kind of hard to find them with the box, honestly. Like I said, because yeah. a lot of them were, a lot of them were in Ross, so a lot of them didn't come with boxes. 
we've got a couple newer dunks right here. Uh, these ones are pretty cool. The ladies like these. Um, these and then the purple ones. There's a purple pair as well. That uh, came out. These are size five men, six and a half men. Paid 120 or 110 for these. Yeah. Paid 110 for these. Put these out for like around like 200. Yeah. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? Sad And then. Sad uh, What's going on? Next, we got. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> these are like kind of like the uh, university red dunks. I think it's a clean color. Yeah, super clean. For the so, price, the color block, I yeah, like that. I like these a lot. These don't go for much. We sell them yeah. around like 180, 200. So these are super, super clean. And we picked them up for what, 120? Yeah, 120. Size eight and a half, brand new. Which, that was a steal. I mean, it's pretty much retail. I'm pretty sure it retails like 100 bucks. So yeah. Not too bad. Next, we got a 10 and a half of the uh, Luna. Another new drop. Yeah. Yep, those dropped on uh, Friday, I think. Yeah. The aluminum joints, these are super clean. These are brand new. Paid uh, 150 for these. Yep. And these guys offer like 250, I want to say. These are brand new size nine. Yeah. Those ones are pretty clean. Um, next, we got a pair of off white dunks. These are a lot. Five. Those are super, Fire. super clean. I like this colorway a lot. Yeah, I haven't seen this one actually. Let me yeah, get a little closer. We don't have a whole lot of lot fives in. Yeah, that's um, fair. But uh, if you're selling off white dunks, bring them in because we're buying them. We're buying them at good prices too. Always. It's probably the best selling shoe in the store right now for us. So if you have these, bring these by. We definitely want them. We pay good for them. Um, just a good shoe in general. We'll trade for them, cash out on them. We pay pretty near a little sass on them, honestly. So it's definitely a good shoe. Quickest moving shoe in the store right now. Um, and last but not least, we got a pair of Amal Manier 3s. Shoe of the year yeah, candidate. Yeah, our personal favorite. We love this shoe. Yeah. I kind of trashed my pair. It's a clean shoe. I thought like you wear with everything. Club them. I messed them up. They oh no, up. Kyle Club it. I know. <laughs> the old days, the old days. <laughs> yeah, got a pair of these size nine. They are used, but I mean, super super clean. Uh, I think we paid. I got a really good deal on these. I think we paid like three hundred. Three hundred, yeah. Which is super solid considering they are used, but the guy hit retail, so he gave them to us for a, a decent price. But. Uh, I mean, I think Los Assassin's is like 540, so we're probably, considering, that, I mean, there's not much wear on them, but considering they're used, probably yeah. for like 480, so like pretty much brand new. Looks, I think you just like picturing them or something like that. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for pickups for today. Yeah, let us let us know which, which ones are your guys' favorites. Yes. All right, let's wait for my partner here. Here. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. We appreciate you guys for watching. Um, we're going to be trying to get at least probably two two videos out a week is kind of what we're going to be shooting for. Trying to stay uh, consistent with it. Uh, just getting videos in the store, um, going out to events, buy, sell, trading, cashing out at like sneaker cons, stuff like that. So we'll be out there interacting with you guys and just trying to get some good content out. Yeah, and we'd appreciate it so much if you guys could please like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn your notifications on because like you said, we're going to be posting two times a week. So if you want to know exactly when we are posting, turn those notification bells on. Yes, yes, yes. And that's, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry, but yes, no. yes, yes. That's that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Um, Last thing, comment what you want to see from this channel. Comment down below what, yes. like. Give us some ideas. Yeah, give us different Fresh ideas. our memory. Like, I don't know how you're fresh in our memories. We're just starting. <laughs> but like, just give us some ideas. Give us some, give us some things to do in the store. Um, just stuff like that. Yeah, we want this to be unique and natural. Just we exactly. really want you to see like what we see every day. So we're exactly. just gonna take you guys on this journey with us, and I hope you enjoy it. Yes, Peace appreciate out. you guys.